It's Monday. Not sure of the date, actually. <laughs> Tell the truth, I really don't really... It doesn't really matter to me, dates. I know it's the 26th on Saturday. 21st. It's the 21st today of September 2020. And I'll be up somewhere near those trees. Although the plan for me today is to go up on the top, so I might not go near the avenue. So I might get up on the top. This is Draycott Slights. So I've got the bus. The times are all over the place at the moment with the buses. Someone said they're back on track again and we've got double deckers now. Well, this is quite a good view from here. I'm on my way from west um, from Draycott towards Draycott Slights. So that's the other side of Cheddar. I got off the bus and walked up a very steep swan lane to get to here. So I don't think I've actually stood in this particular field and taken a view of um, Nyland Mound before. It's just got a... I've been up there in the last year. It's got a history, it's got a trig point, it's got cows on it. There's a trig point, you can just about see it. Um, there's Wedmore Church over there. It is misty today, so things aren't coming out brilliantly. There's Brent Knoll. It's supposed to be a really good day today. Um, we've still got COVID hot on our hills. And there's a lot, possibly a second wave is now starting. And we've got new instructions and from about restrictions tomorrow from Boris Johnson, the Pres Prime Minister. Um, it's all been very ambiguous, as I've said in other videos. But I do not want to keep talking about COVID today. So I'm getting it out of the way at the start of the walk. Um, basically, I wanted to come out today in case tomorrow there were the restrictions were severe and I wouldn't be allowed out on the buses or something. But it looks to me like the buses are returning to normal every hour on the hour from Weston. Um, so... But it's still very unclear, so I think I might still go on the old timetable for now and hang about the bus stop round about five o'clock. Although, it, according to the bus conductor, there's the last bus from Wales is 5.40. Well, to be quite honest, that's a very strange time um, for a bus to leave Wales. It's normally 25 past the hour. So I don't really know what that's about. So I'm going to go on the... I think someone said it's changing tomorrow, so it's very unclear. Still very unclear. Now, if you had one of them apps and a smartphone, you could get into the first buses now and um, find out exactly what's going on. I Normally, I put the computer on this morning probably in my subconscious it was to check the bus times but I didn't but I don't care it doesn't matter because today this particular walk I haven't actually I've come down here a few times and picked the bus up down in the village there I haven't actually walked up this way for quite a while but it's a lovely view of the trees here isn't it Beautiful, I'm going to turn off and take a picture. Back on again. This is um, video two on the 21st of September 2020. And I'm going to call it the Draycott to Cheddar Walk. Um, which is really a very small walk for me. I mean, I could have, I often walk from Wells to Cheddar. And uh, Draycott is really the last... I've already done a massive hike when I get to this stage up on the Mendips. It's like the it's the way to back down home, if you know what I mean. Um, it doesn't take very long at all. But I thought I'd wander up because I've got a little bit of time. Not a lot, because the bus... I didn't know if there was a 9 o'clock. There could have been a 9 o'clock bus today. If I'd gone online, I would have found out. It's half past 11 already. 
and if it's returned to the old timetable then it's sad really because I would have missed an hour I could have got on the nine o'clock and a later bus at six I have a whole day of it like, like we normally have but basically I thought to myself no just do this walk today um, and if it is changed tomorrow I'll go out again because it's another nice day tomorrow after tomorrow the weather's going to change it doesn't matter to me if it gets colder what I don't like is fierce winds and rain <sighs> don't like any sort of rain really because it um Makes you wet, damp and wet. Right, so I'm climbing up and up, everyone. The videos keep coming. Now up here there's a gate. I think there's still an old style. I don't normally video going up here, as I've said before, because... What with the query asthma and you know, breathing, a bit short of breath here and there, nothing to do with COVID. I've had it for, I reckon I've had it since I had SARS in 2020, 2020 2003, 2002, um, when I got SARS, I got, I, I got it as, as, as a hospital person, I caught it as a nurse, and I don't think my lungs were ever the same afterwards, to be quite honest. I used to blame it on smoking, but I haven't smoked no fat, not one fag at all for seven years. But I it's actually, I started 10, 11, 10, 11, 12 years ago giving up. And I hardly smoked in those other years, mainly Christmas, which I always found a difficult period. But I have the side effects are breathing. But it doesn't stop me going out. Now here's a lovely old style, everyone. Little shadow of a man there, look. A lovely stone style. Mendip stone. <sighs> old steps. So I'm going to turn off at this point and take a photo. And then in a minute, I'll be going across a couple of fields till I get to those trees over there. Then what I'll be doing near there is climbing up um, piney, piney Slights over there, which we just come in. So I won't be doing the avenue of trees today, which I usually do when I've been on a long hike. I don't bother getting up there. When I, um, when I do a long hike, I don't climb that. I just follow the avenue of trees. Because, you know, if I've walked from Wells, it's quite a hike. So anyway, here we go. I'm just going to turn off. Beautiful views back that way into the Somerset levels. The Vale of Avalon down there, which would lead up to Glastonbury Tor, which we might see in a minute, but it might be in the mist. Over and out. Right then, just met a really nice young couple from London who, um, one works at the Museum of London and, you know, they're off to stay at Lynmouth and Linton, I don't know how long for, but they said they're going to the Valley of Rocks, now I told them a bit about it, they said they're going to go there this afternoon because of this lovely weather, so I should think of them, I said I'll think of you too when you're over there, because we're talking about climate change and 
um, COVID, you know, usual things, panic buying. You can't stop talking about COVID on the um, walk at the moment because it's such a big global event. It really is. There's a beautiful avenue of trees and even they look brown. We were talking about the trees changing colour much earlier. And they did get a big, we've had a couple of really big heat waves. So it could be that it's dried the soil out or something like that. So anyway, I'm going up this lovely little route, cow free. Now usually there are cows on piney slides, but the ones I've always met, but you can't guarantee that they would be safe, not even the ones that you've met loads of times. Um, there's usually always a herd hovering about there. And I've walked through those trees there many times now. In the winter when it's thick mud. There's some lovely views from up the top and I thought that I'd make today a piney, um, not piney slides, a Draycott slides walk. I'll make it just specific to Draycott slides. Take my time. Of course, the only thing I did do is leave, all, leave my loose change at home, which was enough for an immediate ice cream. Um, so I left that on the desk. There's only about £2.50 anyway. I've got my card if I want, it was desperate. You know, sometimes I usually always have an ice cream when I get to cheddar. It's not, it doesn't, it's not absolutely vital. So it's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's nice to meet some very happy Londoners who are spending a bit of time down here. Um, they had a collie with them, so... They're enjoying the countryside for a little while. It's an amazing view, this, as well. Brent Knoll over there. I'll just zoom in a bit. Brent Knoll, Nyland Mound, the Vale of Avalon, and like I said, we shall possibly see Glastonbury Tour soon. Now, I haven't been to Glastonbury for four years, actually. The last time I went there was with Jolene and Zara when the Glastonbury Festival was on down in Pilton. We drove Alberta over to Glastonbury and climbed the door uh, and had a few beers up there. I haven't actually been to Glastonbury for a wonder for four years. Gone. Over four years now. Four years, three months. And that's not easy to get to bus-wise. Never has been. Because what you have to do, you have to get a bus to Wells. And then you have to get a bus from Wells to Glastonbury if you haven't got transport. And it was, it's very restrictive, the time. You have to make sure you get on that bus and you don't miss the last Wells one. I haven't risked it. Obviously, because the timetables vary so much. I'm hoping by the time I get to Cheddar, first bus have been round with the new timetable. I'm hoping. You do sometimes get horses in here. And, um, just see those piles there. They're, they're stacked rock, um, logs. That's a good way of doing it, isn't it? In circular way like that. Very good. This is like, so I need to get up there. and It's not going to be, it's going to be, well, a steady climb up. I'm not taking my jumper off yet until I get to this next stile. Although you can go branch off down here and get over a gate if you want. But I'm not, I'm going up to the stile. 
but like I say, you can go bare left now. I think I might just climb up on the rock there to see if I can see Glastonbury. The bees and the insects are making the most of the weather. I can hear some birds singing. That must have been the type of hill fort, you know. Nyland Mang once. I think it was. I can't remember the history now. The thing is with me now, I do store stuff online in clouds. I do store stuff and I include it in my videos. When I get home and do the videos and the write-up, I, uh, I usually at the same time go on and have a look for any bits of information. But I can't actually remember it all now. I do remember a lot, but I can't remember everything. Now, of course, if you've got your cloud with you in your smartphone, then you can quickly check it. You know? I still haven't got a smartphone yet because um, I'm just hanging on. It's the next, I'd rather get another decent camera, to be quite honest. Another good Sony. I'm going to stop here to take a picture of the avenue of trees which are already changing colour, it's amazing <sighs> lovely scenes from here as well Crook's Peak just coming into view <sighs> Waverley Down at the moment over there, Waverley Down right, over and out <laughs>